Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is on how to make crisscross instant hijab. If you are just viewing my channel for the first time, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. So for this tutorial, we are going to need two yards of fabric. Then the first thing I'm going to do is to fold my fabric into two in such a way that I'm going to have 72 inches by 30 inches. After which I'm going to cut it out. Then after cutting the house, I'll leave one piece for my hijab. Then the other piece, I'm going to cut out my crisscross from it. And to do that now, I folded my fabric into two. To do that, I'm just going to take 12 inches there. And I'm going to come down by 5 inches. So for this tutorial, I want to have three crisscross. So I'm going to cut out six pieces of this. That is 6 pieces of 12 by 5 inches. So I'll just cut that out. After which, I'm going to place it on the remaining fabrics and I'm going to cut out till I get the exact amount that I need. So I have my six pieces here now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take two pieces and I fold it into two. After which I'm going to place it in such a way that it's going to form V. I just place one in the other in form of like a V shape. And I'm going to stitch that part and stitch it together. Like I'm just going to join it together like that. I the first piece. Then for the second piece, I folded it into two already. Then I'm just going to place it on the first piece, the first piece first we found, to form another crease first. I'm going to place it that way, to form another crease first. I'm just going to print and I'm going to stitch like that. The same way we stitch the first one. Make sure your stitch is covering the first stitch. It's covering it. Then I'll do the same to the third piece. Placing it on the second one to form another crisscross. And I'm going to stitch that also. So you just continue like that, you get your desired amount of crisscross. Then after that, I'm just going to make a slight curve at that edge. And I'm going to cut it out. After which I will take it to my sewing machine and make a slight stitch on it. The next thing I'm going to do is just to put on her side. Then for my remaining fabric, I'm going to cut out a fabric of 10 inches by 6 inches. And this will be for our crisscross tie. I have two pieces of it, 10 inches by 6 inches. So I'm just going to fold it into two. So after folding into two, I'll come to that edge and I'll come down by 1.5 inches. After which I will take 3 inches at that edge and then from that 3 inches point I will just make a diagonal line to join my 1.5 inches. After which I am going to cut it out. now is just to stitch that part and then join that part also 
saw the same to the second piece. So after doing that, I'll just turn it to the right side. After which, I will take my crisscross and then attach it onto the right side facing each other. I'm just going to turn it now. I'm just doing that part and doing the second part also. So I did that already. So the next thing is just for us to attach our crisscross to our hijab face. So to do this now, I'm just going to take 15 inches there. And then from that 15 inches point, I'm just going to attach my crisscross. I did this in order to have a longer piece and then a shorter piece. So I'll just stitch that part and then show you what it looks like. So after stitching this is what we have, this is the final house form of our hijab. You just hem the remaining parts or you interlock it if you want. So this is the final look of our crisscross instant hijab. So this is just the tutorial now to use it. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and if you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.